Sony photographer. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the issues I had with Ubuntu on the MSI GA63 VR. Like I've mentioned in my previous videos, I've been dual booting between Ubuntu and Windows, and I'm using Windows as my gaming uh, productivity OS and Ubuntu for my work and programming purpose. Now that I have a monitor, I started using Ubuntu more at home, uh, programming, working on side projects, and I started to encounter more and more issues with Ubuntu. I feel like these are more issues related to my machine not being as compatible with Ubuntu. Since my computer is not an official Ubuntu laptop, there's no guarantee that everything will work. I installed it at my own risk, and to be honest, most of the time it's pretty usable. I had no issues. I'd have to say the main issues are related to graphics. I have an NVIDIA GTX 1060. It's a pretty powerful GPU, and it's very useful if you're doing gaming and graphical processing, but for programming, it might not be as useful. Obviously, in Windows, it works perfectly, but in Ubuntu, I had issues. When I first booted into Ubuntu, everything was working fine. I uh, had no issues, but the only thing that did not work is my HDMI and display port. Anytime I would plug in anything, it wouldn't recognize it, it wouldn't say that anything is connected to it. And this was super annoying in case I wanted to share my screen, or I wanted to plug my computer into a monitor or a TV. It was not possible and it was super annoying. After searching around, I decided to install NVIDIA drivers. By default, Ubuntu uses its own open source drivers power the graphics and it's usually done through the Intel HD graphics card. So the display port and the HDMI they run through my GPU. So if my GPU is not being used by the OS, display port and HDMI do not work if you're if I'm using the Intel drivers. But the good thing about Intel drivers is they use a lot less power than NVIDIA ones. If I want to work longer without being plugged into the power then I need to be on the Intel HD graphics card instead of NVIDIA. So the good thing about the NVIDIA drivers is that there's this thing called Prime Select. You can switch between Intel and NVIDIA. Usually if I need to be on the go, I will switch to Intel graphics cards and just log out and log back in and everything works fine. I can put the computer to sleep, everything works fine. And the performance is really good too. I don't see any difference in GUI performance of Ubuntu. As soon as I need to plug my laptop to a monitor or some kind of a display, then it does not work. So I have to go to Prime Select and then switch to NVIDIA log out, log back in, and then I can plug it in. But that's the first issue. The second issue is when I'm in NVIDIA driver, if my computer goes to sleep, or if I put it to sleep, I come back, I have these weird graphical glitches. Uh, NVIDIA has acknowledged this issue in the dev form, so in the future update, this will be fixed. Uh, right now, it's still an issue, so if my computer is asleep, I bring it back and I open anything. If there's any kind of a pop-up dialogue, it has like weird colors all around it and it's super annoying, especially in Sublime when I'm programming. If I highlight any or if I go over any class and it shows me where it is, it just blocks pretty much a lot of the part of the screen and it looks really ugly. So the third issue is that when I unplug the monitor sometimes, the whole system pretty much crashes. It turns off every application, Google Chrome, if I have anything else, it's just like everything gets shut down, everything crashes, and then there's like a whole like the screen pretty much goes black. I can only see the terminal if I have the terminal open, and it takes about like 30 seconds, maybe a minute, and then after that everything comes back, but only the terminal is open, uh, nothing else is open. So if I want to open Chrome, I have to open all my tabs over over again. The thing is, this happens if I unplug the display port. If I turn off my display, like the the monitor, and then it sees that it turned off, and then it switches. That works fine. Then I can unplug it. So it's just, it's really weird. Other people have been having these issues as well. I feel like a lot of the Pascal graphics card laptops are relatively new. So I feel like maybe in Ubuntu 17 or whatever, 1704, I feel like a lot of these issues will be fixed probably with the new, new X server, with the new Intel drivers. So the purpose of this video was to tell you guys that if you want to use a computer like this for programming and you want to use Linux or Ubuntu, just be careful that some stuff might not just work. You have to do a lot of digging, you have to look through logs, you have to sit hours on different forums, on Google, searching your errors and issues and hopefully someone else has come across them. If not, you have to like report these bugs and it's gonna take a few months to get them fixed and you know. If you want a really pain-free setup, I suggest getting laptops that ship with Ubuntu. Dell has few laptops that they ship with Ubuntu and they have pretty good specs. System76 also has really good laptops that ship with Pascal graphics cards and Kaby Lake 
M.2 SSDs. They have really good specs and they're reasonably priced. And you're gonna get a peace of mind of like running Ubuntu and it's gonna be very stable. And if you care about gaming, usually there's a lot of games supported in Ubuntu. But if you want more support, you can always dual boot to Windows and you're not gonna have any issues with Windows because Windows has been well tested on these parts and there are a lot of drivers available for Windows. And if money is not an issue, I suggest getting a, a MacBook Pro. Uh, with MacBook Pro, you're gonna get the ideal programming experience. Again, with MacBook, also you can dual boot Windows or you just use a bunch of tools where you can boot Windows as a virtual machine. So there are a lot of options. So the route that I went was kind of like a more risky, less stable route. I kind of expected this to happen, but I didn't know it would be like this bad and annoying. But I believe these issues will be fixed in the future and I'm not gonna have any problems. So these are some of the issues I had with Ubuntu on MSI GS63 VR. Have any of you had any problems with this? I feel like with the popularity of Pascal laptops coming out in the last year and this year, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of you in this situation, whether you want Ubuntu or you just wanna program on your machine. So let me know in the comment section what if you had any similar issues. Maybe you've been through these issues, you've already fixed these problems. Please let me know in the comments. Comments. I'm not a professional in you know Linux. Every time I'm online looking for stuff, I spend hours and hours and hours, usually like late at night, and I get super frustrated and usually I just run out of patience and just go to sleep. Since there are so many combinations of devices that could possibly have this bug, it's really hard to find exact instances of my problem. A lot of people have similar problems, but they're like sometimes not even close. And if I try to use their solutions, it doesn't help mine and it becomes really difficult. So thank you for watching this video. I just wanted to make this really short. I know a lot of my videos have been pretty long. And also if my voice sounds really muffled because I've been sick the last few days recovering and my nose is like still a little bit blocked. So sorry for that. I'll see you guys in the next video.